What's up guys, Macromold here with FabBot. Today I'm going to show you how to install our LS to CD09 adapter. So let's get to installing the adapter kit. The first thing we need to do is prepare our transmission for the adapter kit to get bolted onto. To do this, we need to cut the factory bell housing off. We cut on the second casting line that you'll see on the bell housing using a four and a half inch cutoff wheel. Let's get to it. cut off we're going to slide the adapter plate on and it locks in on the bands like so we want to make sure there's a slight gap between the transmission body and the adapter plate itself this ensures that the transmission case isn't pushing out on the adapter plate and everything is sitting flat once we torque it down this one looks good so we're going to pull the plate back off we're going to make sure this surface is clean and free of oil and we're going to apply some RTV to that surface and then we're going to put the adapter plate on and torque it down. Okay, so now that we've got the adapter plate installed, we've gone ahead and torqued each of these bolts, these M8 bolts, to 18 foot-pounds. Now we're going to go ahead and get our slave cylinder ready to go so we can get that installed. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do to get our slave cylinder ready to go is we're going to remove the bleeder and the factory feed line port from the slave cylinder. To do this, the bleeder comes off easily, you just unscrew it. As for the feed line port, uh, we're going to use a punch and hammer to knock this roll pin out and then this will just pull out. Alright, so I've gone ahead and removed the factory bleeder and the factory feed line port. Um, went ahead and installed the supplied fitting um, with crush, wa crush washer um, on the bleed side. And then on the feed line side, I installed the supplied fitting and reinstalled the roll pin. Now, originally this was the bleeder side and this was the feed line side, but with the way that the lines are routed in order to bleed it properly, um, this is now going to be our feed port. So our feed line is going to go here, and this one's going to be our bleed line. Uh, so our remote bleeder line is going to go on this port. So then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the throw out bearing from the slave cylinder. Take the supplied O-ring, take the first one here, slide it on, and the second one we're going to follow right on top, so there's the two O-rings. Then we're going to take our slave cylinder spacer press it down under there. Then we take our throw out bearing, put it in place. Now the slave cylinder is ready to go. Okay, with the slave cylinder ready to be installed, that's going to be the next step. We're going to install the slave cylinder onto the adapter plate. So we're going to go ahead and put the slave cylinder in place. We're going to take the two supplied M6 bolts And get them started. Now if you notice the lines, the, <clears throat> the feed line and the bleed line come off to the passenger side of the transmission. This is to give us enough room to loop the lines back over and run it through the slots on the other side. 
So we're going to go ahead and put the lines in the slots there. Then we'll torque these two M6 bolts to 84 inch pounds and then we'll be ready to put our bell housing on. All right, so with our slave cylinder all tightened down and our lines in place, we're going to go ahead and install the bell housing. Now when we do this, we want to make sure that we're not pinching our lines. And we're going to get the bell housing seated on the centering ring. And then simply install the eight 10 millimeter bolts that come in the kit. These bolts will be torqued down to 38 foot pounds. All right, so there it is. Our transmission is now ready to be installed to our Gen 3 or Gen 4 LS engine. The only thing we have left to do before we put the transmission on the engine is to install the clutch. Now I'm not going to go through the whole process of installing a clutch on an engine, but I will show you a few things. The kit does include this pilot bearing with pilot bearing adapter. This will go on the end of the crank into the large bore diameter that's in the end of the crank. Typically uh, LS7 bearing would go in that bore, but for this application due to the shaft size, uh, it requires this bearing with this bearing adapter. So that's your pilot bearing. Uh, the clutch disc, you'll see it has an extended snout right here on the hub. That is going to be facing out to away from the engine towards the transmission. And then it comes with the alignment tool. Make sure the alignment tool is free to slide in and out um, before you tighten down the pressure plate fully. And of course, always make sure that your flywheel and pressure plate are free of any oil or debris. Other than that, that's all there is to it. All right, guys. Well, that's all we have for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, make sure to email us or give us a call. And if you did enjoy the video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, see you later.